What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today we're gonna dive into some texturing. Dread Labs. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is basically use only Photoshop to come up with some different kinds of uh, texturing, um, some custom overlays basically, um, without using any plugin or picture or render or whatever. So let's get into it. Um, the first thing that I want to show you, if you haven't know, if you don't know already, you have a, a clouds render, which is under filter, render, clouds, and the things that you can do with these clouds is, well, not endless, but there's a lot. A quick one, for example, is how to do uh, a marbling texture. I learned this from Spoon Graphics. Uh, shout out to him. Um, so let's go into filter, liquify. And when the screen pops up, you can basically uh, start using your brush and distort the hell out of this thing. And as you can already see, it already kind of looks like some liquid marble uh, kind of texture. Uh, you can enhance this with a gradient map. Um, so what you can do is you can increase the contrast uh, by bringing the colors uh, in together like this. Um, which can also get multiple colors in here. Uh, for example, let's just do a purple one here, um, and then a lime green one in here. And as you can kind of drag these around, you can create some really cool different kinds of uh, marble slash liquid paint textures, basically. Um, so let's, let's get on to the next one. Uh, another one that you can do is uh, get into this filter again, uh, go to blur Gaussian blur make sure that it's uh, blurred enough that you can make out any details uh, and then you can go to filter noise add noise and this is kind of a texture that you can ki that you can use um, if we're going to adjustments threshold Uh, we're having a threshold on this right now. We're going to distort this a bit better with a liquify filter again. Just to make it a bit more randomized and have some patterns going on in here. Make sure that the edges don't uh, pop into here. Alright. Um, so now that you have a threshold, uh, it's time to make the contrast just a little bit less by adding some curves. Lower the right point in here and up the lower point in here so the contrast is a bit less and as you group this as a texture uh, let's bring in some artwork and see what we can do with it so i brought in this chain uh, real quick from our uh, thread renders package uh, and let's bring it down so let's bring this down uh, make the texture into a smart object or either merge it I like to uh, make a smart object out of these because then I can go back into it and re-edit them if I want to. Uh, so by just using the texture on overlay here, uh, we created a random noise filter uh, for our chains here. Um, and this is a quick subtle one that I mainly use for uh, basically using a custom grain on artworks. So let's go on to the next one. So for the next one, uh, I'm going to make a real quick and easy way uh, to make custom uh, grunge textures, basically. So we have our clouds filter up in here. Let's get the curves, bring this in like this. Bring it down so it just you just have these small spots, basically. Um, then add some new layers like this. And basically go to one of these three new layers, go to filter and repeat your actions. And do the same for the other layers. So now we have these four layers in here. Uh, just pick all the, uh, select all the layers except for the bottom one. And click on blend mode, lighten. So what you can see right now is we have this really grungy uh, texture going on. It's maybe a bit too much, so you can delete uh, and choose however many layers you want, basically. So I'm going to delete. Yeah, I'm going to leave that too for now. Um, so what we can do with this is we can either um, posterize it. So 
so we have just a little bit of so we have some color in here but not all of it um, and we can also use a threshold filter um, to make this just black and or just white like this and basically by playing around with these settings you can do some uh, cool custom damage textures that you can apply to your artworks um, for example what if I up and up this just a little bit like this and okay, now we're gonna group it I'm gonna grab our uh, chain in here again and um, yeah let's see what we can do with the blend modes in here so I just copied some settings from a previous tutorial you can check it out in the description um, and we're gonna up this just a bit more like this okay what we can also do is let's just delete this for a second um, click on the top layer here press command alt or option shift and E and this will render a layer of everything that's visible in your project right now so we have now we now have a layer uh, with these distorted grungy with this grungy feel okay what you want to do right now is press command or control I and then go to uh, edit define brush preset you now basically have a brush that you can use and apply your own grunge to it for example let's say you want to add so a little bit more let's just rotate our canvas just a bit and add a bit more in it and you can make it a, uh, as grunge as you want basically I encourage you to play around with these settings and see if one of them works for you and let's see what happens if we combine all of these filters together so uh, I just deleted the first filter and now we have our noise texture our grunge texture and basically um, what we're gonna do is play around with it until we have some proper settings for a uh, cover art setup okay so I customized the uh, blend mode in here so we got just a little bit more going on in here with uh, destroyed parts basically um, with this setting to uh, linear light and then we're gonna darken this out a bit by using a curves and here's just a little piece of artwork that we just created with only Photoshop elements basically uh, I mean we tested some textures out on some chains but um, all of these textures uh, are done in Photoshop completely um, I hope you feel a bit inspired and maybe you learn some sh maybe you learn something as always a file will be uh, available for everyone on patreon uh, if you have any suggestions please join us on discord uh, if you have any suggestions for uh, tutorials in the future please comment them down below or join us on discord and i'll see you in the next video